This is my frog Morty. He just turned 100 days after spending his entire life in this tiny ecosystem. Facing predators, hunt prey and find love. Raising frogs may sound strange, but as only 5 frogs out of 100 survive in the wild, I did everything to build them a new home. Well, we have to go back to day zero where Morty's parents were on a date. The next day I discovered thousands of frogs spawn. Knowing most of them would never reach adult age and start their own family, I decided to protect them from snakes, fish and insects. Before I built them their own little ecosystem, I captured thousands of images to document their development, from egg to tadpole. The fertilized egg divides repeatedly through a process called cleavage, creating thousands of small cells. The cells continue to divide, forming a hollow ball of cells called a blastula. This folds inward, forming a structure which is called gastrula. The cells continue to divide and differentiate into specific tissue and organs. The tadpole develops a head, body, a tail and its organs begin to form. Eventually the tadpole begins to move and wiggle inside the egg. Morty breaks through the outer membrane to hatch. Morty has transformed from a single cell into an alien-like creature. A whale in the microcosmos. A nightmare that is about to rule my fish tank. He breathes through outer gills while exploring his new environment. When you take a closer look, you can see the blood cells rushing through Morty's veins. After just a few days, a single cell has transformed into this complex creature that is about to become a frog. Now Morty needs to eat as much as possible and feeds on algae and other aquatic plants. Otherwise, he would remain super tiny and never become a frog. Now it's time to build a new ecosystem for my frogs. I added several different water plants and moss from a pond. This introduced countless different creatures which started to reproduce like crazy. This is a springtail. This awesome creature came somehow together with the moss and it is very important for this ecosystem. Springtails are important decomposers, breaking down dead plant material and recycling nutrients back into the soil. This helps to maintain the health of the ecosystem. And it also supports the growth of other plants and keeps my frogs alive. The most important impact of springtails is that they will keep the water quality high, protecting my frogs from death. As Morty's favorite meal is algae, I added some lights to keep the plants alive. Actually, I had planned to add more and more insects, plankton and other pond creatures to the ecosystem, but somehow they were already there. I have discovered over 50 different species which came out of nowhere and they tried to take over the aquarium. I think there must have been like a hundred different eggs inside the moss. More and more creatures hatched and started to reproduce. I discovered a strange cluster of eggs. 20,000 images later I knew what was going on. Snails. Hundreds of snails were about to hatch. Would they ruin my ecosystem? Or do they bring some benefit to my frogs? Snails feast on algae which is actually a good thing, but because I didn't want my frogs to starve, I decided to add dried algae to have enough food for everyone in the aquarium. I wanted to keep as much algae as possible to allow my frogs to grow even faster. The ecosystem was now teeming with many forms of life, but could they live together? On day 25, their lives were about to change forever they took their first steps onto land. Morty had climbed to the top and was breathing air for the first time in his life. They still have a tail, but only a week later it was completely gone. It was finally time to teach them how to hunt. So I brought my aquarium outside 
and Morty saw the sun for the first time. I thought it was a good idea to add thousands of mosquito larva to the fish tank so Morty could practice catch his first prey. But somehow Morty was not interested in catching mosquito larva at all. They were wiggling around my tadpoles but I guess they prefer the high protein algae balls. I fed them for the last couple of weeks. At this point I knew that I could not keep Morty forever. In about 10 days the mosquito larva would hatch and take over my garden, my house, everything. So I had to make a decision. I needed to find a new home for Morty. After 100 days of seeing him grow from a single cell to this beautiful complex being, I had to set him free and get rid of all the mosquito larva. There is a huge pond around where I released them to start a new family and produce new spawn for my next timeless project. I am pretty sure that we'll meet again next spring with again a huge cluster of eggs. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to not miss any future update videos and macro content. Thanks for watching, have a good day and hopefully see you on the next. Cheers.